Well, greetings everybody. This is Bart from The Sound Couple and today I'm going to give you an overview of our power distribution unit. In this case, we have a Motion Labs and this will support up to six 20 amp circuits and one 15 amp circuit. And you may be asking yourself, well, why would I need one of these units? The reason why you would need one of these units is because it's common to run into situations where a venue and more outdoor show, they're not gonna provide you a row of separate circuits to plug your gear into. They're gonna provide you one outlet and they're gonna expect you to be able to interface with that outlet and then distribute the power where you need it. And here in the US, the most common outlet you're gonna run into is gonna support a NEMA 1450 plug, which provides 220 volts of power at 50 amps. And then this unit right here, the box here, will take this power and break it out into 110 20 amp circuits and then the 115 amp. So let's show you how it works and we'll show you how we've set ours up. Portability is a core requirement when it comes to the gear we haul, and our power distribution is really no exception. We have it built into this gator rack. Do I love this gator rack? No, I don't. But it has a couple features on it that are really nice that help support it as our power distribution. Number one, it has a built-in power strip in it, and I'll show you that on the back. And number two, it's really lightweight and it has wheels and it's like a suitcase. One person can lift this rack around and move it around without a problem, which is something I've seen not possible with other ones. The unit has a total of seven circuits. There's six 20 amp circuits and one 15 amp bonus, I'll call it, on the front. The way we interface with it is we have this Hubble 50 amp twist plug and that plugs in here and twists. Now on the other end we have our NEMA 1450 which will then plug into the house power. On the top of the unit here we have an additional Furman to provide outlets and I'll show you the back here. The front is very clean and very powerful when it comes to the amount of options we have for outlets. On the back of the unit we have our outlets from our power conditioner and then we have two Edison outlets one which runs to the built-in power strip on the gator rack, and then the other one powers the power conditioner above. Here we have four Hubble twists that break out to our 110 outlets. Now these I made, and we're using 12-3 cable to support 20 amp outlets, and we have one, two, three, four, providing four circuits. As I mentioned earlier, today it is most common that we're running into receptacles that will match the NEMA 1450. However, that's not always the case, and therefore we carry extra plugs. These are 60 amp, these are some variations of other 50 amp, we have a 30 amp. And what we can do is we have a tail here, we can use this to wired directly into a panel in some cases, or we can use it to temporarily wire plugs to match what the venue is able to provide. And then on each end of these, we have our NEMA 1450 receptacle that we can quickly plug our cable into. Another gadget you'll frequently see us use specifically for outdoor shows are these right here, which are ground fault interrupts. What these will do is provide additional safety for outdoor shows when it comes to water or other elements. In our rack here, in our gator rack, we carry our 6-4 cable. This is 6-4 cable here. It's two hots, a ground and a neutral, that has our NEMA 1450 plug on the end. And this is about 20 feet. That all fits in the rack here with all the outlets, and it buttons right up, and it's very portable, very light, like I mentioned earlier. Now there are going to be cases where you're going to run into where the outlet they're providing you is further than 20 feet. So what do we do in those situations? We carry more cable. What we have in here is, I don't know, probably 120 feet worth of additional 6.4. And it's pretty much redundant of what we have here with the exception that this it doesn't have the Hubble twist lock. Instead it has a NEMA 1450 receptacle, and a NEMA 1450 plug. 
and we can grab this end and I'm one handed, but we can plug it into there. And now we have 100, approximately 150 feet of cable. Not what you would like to expect, but the reality is, is that it happens. And if you look at our videos, you'll see us breaking this out out of a lot of our outdoor shows. Well, there you go, everybody. That is a summary of the Sound Couples power distribution. There's an investment here. The 6.4 cable isn't cheap. Even the parts to assemble the receptacles is not cheap. The Motion Laboratories, I haven't priced them out lately, but they're not cheap either. And you may be asking yourself, do I really need to invest in, in a piece of gear like that? And the answer is no. For many years, we got by with our own home-built panel that was just mounted on a piece of plywood with a panel on it and the outlets on there. It's all the same. We happened to run into this unit and we upgraded when we had the opportunity. The other question you may be asking, well, is this something I need? And I think the answer is it really depends. It depends on the power needs you have and it depends on the type of venues you're at. It's certainly at smaller venues, you won't run into this very often, but once you start getting into mid-sized places, you will start seeing this most commonly. And this is really for single phase power. It goes way bigger from here. But at the level of the gigs we do, I'm showing you the most common power needs you'll run into. Like I said, the NEMA 1450 is what you're gonna see in most cases. And that gets us by on just about every show we do. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was informative. There is so many different ways of doing this. I was just showing you the way we've done it and what has worked for us to hopefully help you find what works for you. And until the next time, we'll see you at the gig.